Developing this midday, the manhunt for the suspect in the main shooting rampage is now expanding. Right now, hundreds of police and about 80 FBI agents are involved in the search in and around the small town of Lewiston, Maine. Bradley Blackburn has more on a community grieving right now as it remains in lockdown. Law enforcement officials in Maine have expanded shelter-in-place orders beyond the town of Lewiston as they continue hunting for mass shooting suspect Robert Card. Police say divers will be searching the water near the dock where Card's vehicle was found. The river is a big piece of this. The car was located there. Uh, uh, evidence is located uh, at, at, in, the, in the vehicle or right there along the, the shores of the Androscoggin River. On Thursday, SWAT teams, canine units, and helicopters scoured Card's hometown of Bowdoin, even honing in on one home in particular that came up empty. Card, an Army reservist, allegedly opened fire inside a bowling alley and restaurant in Lewiston Wednesday night using a semi-automatic assault rifle with an extended magazine and a scope. Every one of those rounds that got fired need to be investigated. Every one of those cartridges that lays on the ground needs to be collected. Despite recent mental health issues, including a temporary hold at a facility over the summer, federal law would not have kept Card from obtaining a firearm. As the investigation unfolds, the names and faces of the victims are being revealed, and loved ones in lockdown are sharing memories online. Arthur Strout was at Schmengi's Bar and Grill Wednesday night, playing pool with his father, but stayed behind. He and his wife, Christy, were raising a family together. He was a good guy, and he was family-oriented, and he always took care of us. Ben Saroy, a resident of Lewiston, says before the massacre, he always felt safe in this area. Cherish your loved ones while they're here, because it could happen, I guess, anywhere. More people were murdered in Lewiston Wednesday night than in the last 15 years combined. And sources also telling CBS News that officials are investigating whether Card was targeting a current or a former girlfriend. The motive for the shooting remains unclear at this time.